Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here, we're going to cover question 24 of the math proficiency test for teachers in Ontario. I encourage you to try these questions by yourself. And we've done similar questions, so you can check the early videos on that. And you can also watch this video here from Khan Academy that talks about addition and number places value and that kind of stuff. So without further ado, let's get to it. We have, what is 19 thousands plus seven tens? So first of all, we need to know what a thousands is and tens is. So, but it's pretty intuitive, right? Like that's, that's a good news about this problem. So really what we can do is we have 19 times one thousands. Like we have 19 thousands so imagine we thousands are one thing and like you could picture like 1000 unit sticks if you want and we have 19 of 19 sticks of a thousand unit units in each and then we add seven times tens seven tens right seven sticks of 10 units each so really i'll write it like this it might make more sense um, seven times 10. So that's just a translation from words to numbers. And obviously when we multiply by a thousand, we shift the comma three times. So that would be one, two, three. So essentially we would have 19,000 and that makes sense. We have 19 sticks of a thousand. So that's 19,000 units and then plus seven times 10, we shift the comma once. And then that would be plus 70. Now, here you can think it's tricky. Obviously, it's going to be 19,070. But we can do a formal multiplication, uh, addition, sorry, right? So it would be something like this. We line up the, the numbers. So 0 goes with 0. 7 is in the tens position. We line them up. We get zero and then we add the second column. We get seven, we get zero. Technically you have some imaginary zeros there, right? So we have 19,070 and that's your final answer. Therefore, I'll just put a nice little rectangle over it and that's answer number B. And to build some intuition here, I won't keep you here for too, too long. I'll just go over the number places once more. So let's say we have this like this number, one, two, three, four, five, six, point seven, eight, nine. So let's let's cover each one of those numbers, um, what the place value is. So for six, this one is the unit. That's the main one, okay? So then the five is the tens. This one is the hundreds, hundreds, and then that's thousands, right? And then that's a hundred thousands. Or sorry, that's not a hundred thousands, that's tens of thousands. So I'll write, or maybe I'll use letters since 10 is so that's tens of thousands. And then that's a hundred thousand, right? So a hundred thousand. And then that is one past the decimal, that's tenths. That's a hundredth. Hundredths. And then that's thousands. I don't know how to write that. <laughs> I'll assume that you do. Thousands? Not sure. <laughs> and we'll leave it at that, folks. All right. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video of Do the Work.